didn't get to use the drone as much as I wanted to yesterday, so I'm going up to the roof of my building to try and get some shots. I don't know how well this is gonna work out. The building is not necessarily like a roof access building. It's, I don't think you're supposed to be up there, but we'll see. There are so many spiders up here. It's disgusting and I hate spiders. Blah. I have to try and climb this thing now. And it's covered in spiders. Ugh. All right, we'll see. I might ditch out on this. I don't know, but we'll see. on the roof. I don't know if you guys can see this thing. Look at this. Right there. I'm sure it doesn't look it, but it's huge. This is the roof of my building. <clears throat> Pretty uneventful. I'm covered here by these walls. So it's not as windy here as it will be 10 feet high. The building is 40 uh, stories tall, which is high. So I'm a little nervous about the drone, but we'll see. Aha. Okay. It's getting pretty windy. building's AC unit is on the roof so I you know and it's huge obviously so it's really loud um, so sorry if it's like getting in the way of this thing I'm still setting up the drone okay so apparently there's some kind of compass interference meaning like there's like there's a satellite here there's probably something going on so I'm gonna try and move to another part of the roof and if it doesn't work then I gotta nix it and I gotta go try it somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so I just got some quick shots. I just did come some twirls, as you'll see the here Now I'm gonna go downstairs, I gotta get ready for work. I might bring this with me, I might not, but this is a good trial run and I did some night shots last night. It's a little iffy because apparently there's a lot of magnetism up here, I guess, from like satellites and stuff, or from, from dishes, from like cable dishes, so that's daunting. But the little guy, he held up. By the way, I'm gonna be needing a name for this guy too. He could be a guy, this is a guy. He could be a dude. I don't know, maybe you should be a girl, because it's like a ship, you know, like the sailing of a ship, like a new plane, I don't know, like the SS something or whatever. We need, we need some names, so I'm, I'm looking at you guys. This is a good camera. It's not the best camera you could buy. It's, it's a good Canon. It's by far not the best Canon you can get. But I'm not a professional photographer. 
I'm not even a professional filmmaker. I just want something that's gonna give me the best results for what I do and make it the easiest possible scenario for me to get whatever I just did or whatever I do to you guys. Which is what I remember back on one of the Q and A's, somebody asked me, uh, somebody asked me what, um, what software I use to edit and I, I use Premiere Pro, but there's plenty of good ones that are free. And uh, I know a lot of people like Final Cut, that is not free, but that's very, very good. But like iMovie's fine. I just, there's certain things I wanted to do that iMovie doesn't do or doesn't do very well, but it's fine. There are movies, I, I said, I think I said this in that vlog too. There are movies that have been entered in like Sundance that have been completely made on iMovie. So it's all about what you need. And I'm not, I'm not somebody who's like super, you know, I'm, I'm techie in that I like gadgets and I'm a nerd that way, but I'm not precious with any of them. Like it would be too much work to be precious with everything and I feel like I would sacrifice quality shots. However, I do wanna be good with the drone, so I am going to actually take time to learn how to really use it, and like, I might actually read the manual. It's not my first drone, but it's my first type of that kind of drone that's smaller, um, smaller like that. So we'll see. I'm definitely gonna be taking it around Chicago with me. I already have plans probably for tomorrow, maybe, that I'm gonna take it and get some cool shots around Chicago with it, but we'll see. I hope you enjoy that small footage I just got and the night footage I got that I will be showing on this vlog as well, so stay tuned, I guess. Here we go. So I decided, although this isn't the Sunday vlog, I want to do a song for you guys because I haven't done one in a while and I've missed the vlog. I missed doing a song on this past Sunday vlog. So it's not very early here. It's not too late, but it's late enough that I can't like bash something out on the piano for you guys. So I figured I'd give it a go on the guitar and sing for you uh, one of my favorite Irish songs. I hope you enjoy it. In Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty, I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. As she wheels her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh. A fishmonger, but sure it was no wonder, for so were her father and mother before. As they each wheeled their barrows through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Died of a fever, and no one could save her, and that was the end of sweet Molly Malone. Her ghost wheels her barrow through streets broad and narrow. Crying cockles and muscles alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and muscles alive, alive, oh. So that was Molly Malone. Uh, it's one of my favorite, favorite pieces. 
the sound is probably a little lower just because I have to do that if I'm playing and I'm singing, um, just to kind of balance it out. I hope that you enjoyed the song, and I know I'm playing catch up right now, even though Vlogapalooza is over. The past few days have been crazy, and you will understand why when you watch the Tuesday vlog. But thank you guys, as always, and I'll see you guys soon.